ShireSociety.com. Where are you going? Taking a walk. No. No, you can't go up there. It's not an option. Stop. 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 Stop right now. Put the can. Wouldn't it be nice if we could turn the occasional imprisonment of New Hampshire Liberty activists more and more to our advantage? Well, one of the contributors at LouRockwell.com says there is. The apocalyptic writer Gary North says, quote, follow the rules exactly, unquote. He says that can bring down any system. He uses the example of Russian dissident Vladimir Bukovsky. Bukovsky was thrown into the gulag, but discovered a chink in the Soviet armor that could be exploited from a gulag. Apparently, bureaucrats over there were required to respond to any complaint that was written about them. So, Bukowski organized uh, his gulag prisoners into uh, teams of letter writers who wrote blizzards of uh, complaints. They even had some kind of, uh, like, a, almost a factory process for making these things. Like an assembly line or something. That was Gary North's example of how this kind of thing could be done. Uh, unfortunately, North does not really provide in his article an example of how we could do something like this in the U.S. And I am at a loss as to how it would be done. You see, I think North assumes that every institution follows its own rules in some form or fashion, or that you can force it to follow its own rules. I'm kind of shocked to hear that the Soviets were forced to follow their own rules. I would have thought they would have just done like the federal government and just ignore their own rules. But apparently, Bukowski's efforts uh, resulted in uh, huge numbers of bureaucrats and even students having to be drafted into a complaint-answering process. Since everyone in Soviet life was uh, uh, basically part of the party, everyone prominent, they they you know they found them you know, the prisoners ended up writing astronauts actors everybody who was anybody in Soviet society and apparently there had to be a response and even more shocking to me is that the Soviets actually followed their own rules I didn't know that they did that and I didn't I don't see why a totalitarian government would have to the American government doesn't even pretend to so I just don't think this kind of thing would this particular tack would not work in the U.S. filing complaints. No, they would just ignore them. So, but there must be something else that we can do here, some kind of chink in the armor. The only one I could think of off the top of my head, and it's really not that good, uh, and this is why I need your help. I need you to come up with one. I need you to come up with some ideas. Uh, the one I had was, um, obviously, there are certain places where cameras are banned or, or recording is banned. So I thought one thing that one could do uh, is to um, have a piece of paper or a notepad and a pen, and while a bureaucrat's talking to you, you just you say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't get that. I'm not allowed to record, so what did you say again? And make them talk very slowly, as slowly as you write, basically. You are being audio and video recorded? No, I can't believe that outside. I, mean, I don't know if they would go along with that, but you're asking them to at least... And so the conversation takes much, much longer. No, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I'm not listening to you. I'm writing down what you just said before. Please don't interrupt me while I'm writing down everything you said. That kind of thing. And could I have your name, please? Write that down. That, I, that's the best I can come up with. You can probably come up with something better. One that I can also think of is the uh, White House petition process where they're supposed to respond whenever they get a petition of 25,000. That's been used successfully and I hope will be used successfully again. The latest use of it is, uh, I guess, the hacker group Anonymous is using it uh, to react to the death of uh, the Reddit founder, the man who committed suicide because the feds were coming after him. They've put up a petition on the White House website to try and uh, get a federal prosecutor removed. And to their credit, so far it seems like the Obama administration has actually been following their own representations and they have been responding to secession or to petitions. I know they responded to the secession petition 
If there was one they would have refused to respond to, it would have been that one. So you would think. So, maybe it's possible to kind of hold them to some of their rules. But again, more, better ideas are needed. We need something that doesn't require 25,000 people. What is your suggestion? Post it in the comment section. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.